Okay, so now I got six of these uh, taper lock blanks machined up, and I need to put the uh, tapped holes in the face that will be used to to draw the bushing into the taper. So I made a little fixture here that locates on the uh, 5H bore. And a little clamp I made. So there's just enough room for the drill and tap to go in there. It didn't even have room to do the center drill. So I've taken each of the pulleys off and checked them for run out and looking for uh, concentricity of the, uh, of the ball screw and the uh, OD of the pulley. And what I can see is I've got anywhere from one to five thousandths of run out in these things. Which is way too much. That's almost five on that one. So that thing really needs to uh, needs to be dead true, because otherwise, you know, the the ratio uh, that I'm expecting is not uh, consistent.
right, so uh, this finished boring a taper on the ID, uh, holding the sprocket in my turn soft jaws, all in the same setup. So uh, I should have very little run out between the OD of the sprocket teeth and the bore. So uh, if you can see that indicator from up here. about one low there so not quite one on the on the sprocket and or on, a, on the teeth I meant and inside there There should be none because I just turned it, but it's pretty good. About a half. So that's about as good as I can do as far as making these little sprockets run true. Okay, so taper locks are installed. And I'm checking the run out here. When I'm machined them in the soft jaws, I went ahead and turned this flange too so I'd have a reference surface to make this easier to check. It looks about like one and a half TIR on that one, which is about as good as I could get my jaws on the lathe. was hoping for better but that's as good as I could get them did I mean plus or minus a half so that's about one I guess a total of one which is about as good as I could get my soft jaws on the lathe just couldn't uh, just couldn't get them to uh, to repeat any better than that so that should be a whole lot better than where I was at. So uh, next I'll do the chart test. All right, so this is my crude test for checking uh, actual motion error. Okay, so what I've got is uh, a little program that simply starts from a zero position and moves in 5,000 steps uh, with a four second dwell between moves. Uh, five thousandths is about um, one tooth on the sprocket so uh, the entire program will be basically one revolution of the ball screw and after each move the four second dwell lets me record the reading on my precision indicator here and then I can compare the commanded move to the actual move and look for the air so so first move is five thousandths ten thousandths fifteen and there's the actual measured 20, 25, 1. So, so far we've got a one tenth uh, accumulated error. So, just like that. So, it'll go for one full revolution. 
of the uh, of the screw and I actually do maybe three revolutions and check it in different spots and then uh, we'll plot that and see how it compares to what it was before.